path. I would like to say a big thank you to all of you for the love and support that, have, that you guys have shown towards this utility from the last one year. So as you know, this two path has come up within two flavor. One is uh, one is a Firefox version, and another is Chrome versions. We can easily find uh, these two tools by searching it in Google. You can search, so you can see it is showing two options. One is for Firefox, and another is for Chrome. Okay, so let me click the Chrome one. It will redirect you to Chrome Web Store, and from here you can download. A download the extensions so as you know that the true path is designed to generate the XPath on click so that you can use it on ease to to your automation scripts it is designed to generate the relative XPath unique XPath as well as the index XPath and it has the capability to generate the XPath from the iframe as well we can we can generate the iframe uh, we can generate the XPath either in the normal or in the pain form or page object model format so so far it has around 30 thousands of downloads and being used across 136 countries and as per my estimate it has saved around 600 hours of effort so I received a lot of feedbacks from all of you guys from the last one years so I worked on it and I added some new functionality to it and at the same time I refreshed the UI as well now suppose with a new version installed and you click any any element the way we do earlier and now you you will have this refresh ui and one thing i i did is in earlier once you click the elements is open up this pop up every time right every new element and it will open up the new pop-up now instead of doing that it will keep the one pop-up and all the xpath will direct to this pop-up only so no extra pop-up will open up once you click uh, new element going forward now you can see from this uh, uh, pop-up that here it is giving you the xpath uh, in the normal format as well as in the form format now it is designed to fetch some additional informations to help it out in your automation scripting for example it will show you the page title it will figure out the name of the element and in case it is a part of any iframe it will show you the iframe URL okay now assume I want to click the next one so I'll go and I'll click let's say I click this one so the no new uh, no new pop-up being opened all it is redirect to this this old pop-up only now every time you click new X path the all the information being added to this grid over here so I have added a couple of functionality related to the grid for example uh, you want to update uh, this information something like you want to change the name of of this of this uh, element name so just you click and click edit so it will go you to the new and let's say I update it let's say I remove this part and I will click save so the, it is get updated now once it is get updated you can download all the xpath in one go in the excel format so this is why this grid is being designed so that you can have all the xpath in one go so you click this export button it will download all the xpath in xls form just waiting for the excel to open up you okay, click yes and now you can see this the exports here okay you can copy it and use it to directly to your code or or you can use it as your object repository in your code 
okay so you can see here it has some other options like delete you can delete it from here just select here and click delete it will give you a little prompt click ok it will get deleted now you want to add this whole thing again to this one just click add it is being get added okay it has some support uh, functions like for help you click it here it will redirect to this page True path here you have detailed reference of how to use it you have a video support you can connect with me through Twitter and you can also pass on your feedback so once you click it it will redirect you to this Chrome page here you can give your feedback so accordingly I can update your feedbacks and incorporate your valuable suggestions so ap apart from this UI thing I I also added dev tool support because sometimes we need we need to build up our XPath custom XPath so for that what you need to do is just suppose you need to create a custom XPath for this you just click it and click here the inspect button so once you click the inspect button you will see there is a little true path is coming up in the sidebar so click it so you can see it will generate the X path for this whole this this element now here you can see it is giving the thumbs up into the green yellow and red so the green means so this group this group will list all the XPath except those containing ID, href, HTTP, HTTPS and SRC. The reason is so ID some are dynamic in nature. If you if you consider XPath with ID, there are chances that there are chances that so those ID may be broken in the long run. So the green will exclude that so that you can use those XPath in your code and there is a less chance to be broke be broken down in few futures and this yellow is, is again is the group which which contains uh, which contain all the XPath which includes ID href um, SRC in HTTP and HTTPS and the red ones are the index XPath okay now suppose you click it here so it will it will populate this little text box over here now you click click enter so you can see let me break it down a little bit now you can see it is pointed out pointed it out here now suppose you remove this index one okay see it is pointed out all the three all these two including this one as well now from here you suppose you want to select the one you can do it or suppose you want to create your custom one let's say div it is showing all the all the one let me select the first one so it is selecting the first the first one okay similarly if I select the second it will give you the second one if I select the third so it will give you the third one okay so in this way you can customize your XPath and use it in your uh, in your code okay again you have this help button and the like button so like button will redirect uh, to your feedback page and help button is redirect to your uh, true path page where you have reference now this tiny copy button so if you click this copy so it will copy uh, if you copy this one it will copy the XPath normal format and if you copy this one it will copy the page uh, page object format okay so see it is copying the page object format so that's it guys for today thanks thank you a lot uh, for for the support that you have shown 
and hopefully I will have some good response from you and I can work upon it and improve it so it will be a more useful for you guys and help your time uh, required to construct the XPath or make your life easy to generate uh, XPath and and in a way increase your efficiency to write uh, automation script. Thank you.